Yesterday, Vivo not only presented the Vivo X200 Pro and Vivo X200 Mini, but also presented Vivo X200, which is the basic model of this entire series. It only remains for it to present the Ultra model, but surely that will come later, or could even do until next year. There are still not many rumors about the Ultra model, but let me tell you now the specifications of the base model. In design, we will see something very similar to what we had already seen in the rest of the models, only in this case it is a traditional 6.67 inch size on its screen, which by the way is also a screen calibrated by size to give it a very accurate color representation. This display has LTPS technology, so it is not capable of varying its refresh rate as advanced as its larger siblings. However, it does have 10 bits of color depth and does support HDR content, so it's an advanced enough display but not the most advanced Vivo has to offer. Its peak brightness is 4,500 nits and that could be considered a bit strong. In this case, one difference that this model will have over the Pro model is that its telephoto camera doesn't have as high resolution sensor, but it still incorporates a high resolution sensor. Specifically, it's 50 megapixels and it's Sony's IMX882, so it's a high-end sensor that other manufacturers use in their main camera, but Vivo uses it also in this telephoto camera, which by the way, it's 70 millimeters, so it's not that advanced optical zoom, but I think it can satisfy a lot of users. The main camera is 50 megapixels with another Sony sensor, IMX921 to be exact, obviously it will also be a very good quality sensor. And finally, the ultra-wide camera is also 50 megapixels, so you have a pretty robust photographic system. And with respect to the battery, we find 5,800 milliamp hours of capacity with support for 90 watt charging. The front camera is 32 megapixels with f aperture 2.0 and has a thickness of 7.99 millimeters and 202 grams of weight. Its processor, like the other members of the series, is the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. A processor that is giving much to talk about because it has surpassed in several tests the Apple A18 Pro, which is integrated in iPhone 16 Pro Max. So, without a doubt, it is a device that is also a worthy representative of the high-end, although it is not the most advanced that Vivo can offer. In addition, it also has resistance against water, just like all its siblings. And in this case, its price announced for China has been 4,299 yuan, but I remember very well that the prices here are not the same as over there. Peace.